Hey bro, let's talk about music. So music is such a topic that is just starting to get popular in self-improvement community. People are just starting to realize that music can be actually bad for you. And uh, I don't believe, just a quick disclaimer, I don't believe that all music is bad. I don't, okay? I listen to music myself. But music really can be bad for you. Not all the music, again, but specific kind of music. And this is what I want to talk about today. I want this to be a discussion between us. So if you disagree with me, write in the comments why. Explain your opinion in the comments. And uh, just really, let's discuss it. Because this topic is just starting to get popular. This is something that will... Eventually, it will blow up. And everybody will talk about it. And we'll be the first who, who did. So, yeah, let's start. I myself noticed the harm of music... Especially when I listen to it while I'm sad, while I already have the bad mood. When I listen to some, you know, sad, depressing music or music that is associated, that I associate with something bad. It kind of doubles the misery, the bad state of mind that I have. And this is a thing that not only I notice, but a lot of other people also notice this thing. So... This is kind of a universally agreed thing that sad music will multiply your sadness. So this is kind of a harm of music, right? If you listen to sad music, you will become sadder. If you listen to happy music, you will become happier. That's why I say that not all music is bad. You can listen to some... Like right now, I just... I don't say that I removed all music from my playlist, all sad music, but I made a specific playlist that has only music that is either neutral, but mostly it has only positive music. And not positive in a way that is, you know, positive, that is with positive lyrics or stuff, but the music that sounds positive, like Rammstein. I know that Rammstein is not, is not positive band in any way, and uh, their lyrics are not positive in any way, but... It sounds kind of energetic, you know? It makes me feel good. It makes me want to do stuff. So I only listen to that kind of music now. Not only Rammstein, but different bands. That kind of energetic music. Power Wolf also, I like Power Wolf. And so maybe this is what you can do. Maybe this is what you want to do. Stop listening to sad music. I only listen to sad music when I'm in a really happy mood and when I know that it cannot harm me. And even then, you need to be careful with that because if, like for me and for a lot of people, music can be associated with stuff that is unpleasant, that with stuff that you don't want to remember. And so you're, you're sitting minding your own business, doing stuff, And suddenly you hear a song that is associated with something you already forgot about, but something unpleasant. And then you suddenly get a bad mood because you remembered about this thing. So really be careful about music. Another thing that I want to talk about is affirmations. A lot of people in self-improvement communities try affirmations. They know that it works, but they still listen to the genuine music that that just gives them bad affirmations. Like, let's say if a song repeats something constantly, something is repeated, you'll start to believe that, right? Maybe you will not start to believe that consciously, but you will start to believe it subconsciously, like affirmations. You know how affirmations work, bro. Everybody knows how affirmations work. So this is the same stuff with music. If you listen to music that has some degenerate lyrics, it will subconsciously affect you. I'm sure there are scientific studies. I did not Google any scientific studies, but I'm sure there are. And even if there are not no scientific studies on this topic, I'm sure this is true because a lot of people reported it. A lot of people, just a lot of people agree with me on this. And I notice this effects on myself. And not just, again, not just me. It's a lot of people noticed it. So what I want to say is be careful about music. Listen to positive music. I know that there were studies specifically on Mozart, specifically on him, not other 
not any other composers worked, just Mozart. Somehow his music made people to made people's immune system to work better and made them happier. And uh, specifically Mozart's music have a lot of positive effects on health. I don't know how it works. Don't ask me. I just found studies. I, I, I specifically Googled for these studies. There are such studies. I will not link them. Just find it, find it yourself. But there are such, such studies. And um, a lot of people actually talked about Mozart. And I believe there is a reason why it works. So, somehow it works. This is just a fact. It works. So listen to Mozart. Listen to positive music. Listen to energetic music that gives you motivation, energy to do stuff. Be careful about sad music. I, I don't say quit it. I don't say quit it because... Sometimes people can feel better after listening to sad music. Like, there's a song from... Radiohead, it's called Creep. It's it's their most popular song, bro. You know this song. Everybody knows this song. Somehow, it's a sad song. It's not like... It's supposed to be sad, but it makes me feel better about myself. I don't know why. I don't know why. But it works for me like this. And uh, just subjectively rate if this song makes you feel sad or makes you feel good. And um, subjectively determine if... This song will be good for you or bad for you. Try to not listen to songs that are bad for you, obviously. And yeah, this is all I wanted to say about this topic. Again, if you disagree, I want discussion on this topic in the comments. This is a very interesting thing. Nobody, not a lot of people at least, are talking about this right now. So we may be the first to really talk about it. Write your favorite bands in the top in the comments, and um, I see you in the next one.